again. Last year, our club's 2 meter VHF repeater uh, decided to stop working. And uh, although we uh, subsequently had it fixed, uh, at the time I thought, wouldn't it be good to have a spare repeater on hand? Now, of course, repeaters are not the sort of thing that you usually have lying around. So I toyed with the idea of building one and uh, ended up doing just that. Um, in fact, our repeater's been back uh, in service for many, many months and only a few weeks ago did I finish the spare. And uh, it's never been installed anywhere. But I thought you might be interested to uh, have a look to see how I went about building a, uh, a mini VHF repeater. So as you can see, it's not a particularly large unit that I've built, all in a, uh, a small case, not terribly big. So what's in it? Well, there's no great mystery as to what's inside a repeater. It's, uh, it's not full of black magic. It's really quite straightforward. Uh, basically a receiver connected to a transmitter and uh, some sort of controller and uh, that's exactly what's inside this unit. Um, you can see here this is what the inside of it looks like. Uh, there's a 5 volt regulator, everything in this repeater runs on 5 volts. Uh, there's an interface board which changes the audio levels, uh, a little interface board which converts 5 volts to 3.3 volts and vice versa. Uh, the controller is uh, an Arduino Uno and there's a little audio amplifier on the front panel for local audio. Then there are the receive and transmit modules and we'll talk about those in a bit more detail. The transmit and receive modules are almost identical and are based around a small chip called an SA818 available in VHF or UHF and these little modules are very versatile and uh, quite easy to use. The modules are inexpensive, about $12 each, uh, but do require a carrier board to make things a little bit easier. So I produced a couple of um, printed circuit boards to mount the modules on. Uh, this makes interconnections uh, a lot easier. And uh, the carrier boards and the modules are then mounted inside the die cast boxes inside the repeater and that's all for the sake of RF shielding. You might notice some coils on the carrier boards there that is some low pass filtering for the sake of spectral purity as those modules are too small to have any internal filtering. The repeater controller is an Arduino Uno, although an Arduino Nano would do just as well. The controller takes a logic signal from the receiver and uh, then keys up the transmitter. It also takes care of all the things like uh, repeater ident and timeout timers. And uh, the code was all written using the Arduino IDE. So, does it work? Well, pleasingly, yes it does. It did take some uh, experimenting to get the audio levels right, and the code took some debugging, but generally things work very well. Uh, the repeater is only half a watt, so the next project will be uh, a small external power amplifier. Uh, the receive sensitivity is excellent. All in all, a fun project, and well worth the effort. So there we are, not your average home brew project, but something which is a little out of the ordinary and uh, hopefully something you'll find a bit interesting. See you next time.